So I'm all about trying new things and getting out of my comfort zone. This time I'm going to attempt to cut my own hair because I never tried that. And here's a number three clipper. I don't know why I put my hands behind the clipper. I saw a lot of makeup gurus do that. So I thought it was necessary for me to do it. I don't know. The first cut was pretty terrifying because I actually saw hair coming off like this. But obviously I'm gonna fast forward most of the clips because you probably don't wanna stick around for like 20 minutes and watching me fail most of the time. So I don't know much about cutting hair and I mainly rely on YouTube for help. I've watched like two videos on how to cut short hair and I thought it would be sufficient because like anything in life, you learn by doing. As you can tell, I already made my first mistake. I started at the top, who does that? Only a fool like me would do something like that. I bet all the barbers and stylists are cringing right now. It took a good five minutes to realize that I should start at the bottom. Drake started at the bottom, so I should too. So I pulled out a number two clipper and then started to fade away. I didn't want to use a number one clipper because I thought it might be too short and if I do make a mistake, it'll be super noticeable. I went ahead and trimmed all my sides and the back. Keep in mind when doing this, remember to blend. Don't go from a two to a four. You probably should just go up or down one size. But at the end of the day, I'm not a professional, so don't listen to me. I'm just a random dude just filming myself getting out of my comfort zone. And if you're wondering where I got this haircutting set, it was from Walmart. It cost like $23. Like a new by M, I don't know what's a good brand and what's a bad brand. So I went by the looks. This one had colorful clippers, so I know that if they ever ran away, I'll be able to spot them. But anyway, I thought it would be a great investment because I normally get a haircut like twice a month and I did my calculations. If I were to get a haircut two times a month, it'll cost me about $30 a month or $360 a year. So I thought I could be saving more than $300 a year. I should probably use that money to buy more food because of how skinny I am. Remember, it's all in the blend. So I picked up this oddly shaped clipper to give my bottom part a nicer blend. Remember that I'm not a pro, it's my first time doing this. I thought it made sense to do it, and boy was I right. I was about to use the number one clipper just to clean the bottom half, but I didn't need to do it because this clipper just fixed it for me. You might think this looks easy, but this is after cutting out a bunch of clips and fast forwarding the frames. So I wouldn't have like a 20 minute long session where you slowly watch me cut my hair. And if you look closely right on how I'm cutting the left side of my head, I already made another mistake. There's a bald spot. It's from this oddly shaped clipper, but it's okay. You know and you learn. Now it's time to do the right side. Since I was almost done cutting the bottom part, I jumped the gun again and went back to the top. Got back on clipper number 3 and started to go ham on my head. Doing the back and the top with no regrets because there's no going back now. I've already gone too far, plus if I make any mistakes now, 2 weeks later it won't be noticeable. I'll have to revisit my handy dandy trimmer again. At this point, I'm just enjoying this haircut. I've already shaved too much off of it and I feel like I should probably stop before I get too happy and shave everything off. Finally, I got the number one clipper and started to do a little side and back detail on my head just to clean it up a little. This part took about five minutes because I was scared at first. The side part was easy because I had a good view of it, but the back part was hard. I didn't want to cut too much off of the back because I couldn't get a good view of it, even though I had two mirrors. Plus, holding the trimmer in that position felt kind of awkward and my hand-eye coordination is not the best. So this part took quite some time. Overall, I think this haircut took about 25 minutes to complete. It's just a basic haircut and I saved myself $15 using so. I think it's worth it and if you want, you could try it yourself. Then use that money and treat yourself to a nice dinner because you've earned it. Okay, see? This, this is how I could do it. Like, I'm, I don't know if you can see this, but there's like little lines here. I think it's from the trim. But this is pretty much it, if you could tell. Here, I'll give you a 360 view, slowly. Smash it. And this is the aftermath. It doesn't look much, but it's a lot to me. So this is the final look. I'm very pleased about it. As you can tell, I don't know. Uh, I gave myself a little trim on the side. And that's pretty much it. Uh, I think I have like a few imperfections here and there, but um, I guess. I'm going to put some gel on it and then I'll get rid of it, I hope. So this is 
I'm gonna just put some gel on it to see if I could get rid of it. It's not the best. It's my first time doing it, so. And if you're wondering how I put gel, this is this is pretty much it. <laughs> There's no secret to it. You just put it on and bam, you're, you're good to go. Actually, actually it looks good. <laughs> Here's a 360 view. Hope you can see it. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Now I can start my day.